Hi, it's Kim from Love Your Design here. Um, back from Europe and the Human Design Festival and the Science of Consciousness Conference uh, and battling jet lag and here now to talk to you about something that's going on this week that's really important. If you have a look over here, we've got the Sun in 53 and the Earth in 54. We've got the North Node in 53, we've got the South Node in 54 and we've got Saturn in 54. So there's a lot of activity going on down here in the 53 and the 54 in the root centre. Now, um, Mercury retrograde is going through Cancer, which is in the 53, um, Gate 53 is part of Cancer, and the root centre is very much about Capricorn and Cancer, those two energies. So these gates, 54 Capricorn, 53 Cancer, that's where they sit astrologically. The, what this is talking about is the inner and the outer self, how you can stand really firmly in yourself. Um, you probably or possibly thinking about, you know, what, what does home feel like to me? What does it feel like to be rooted in my own life? These kinds of ideas are coming up. And how can I take that foundation and go out in the world? So that's kind of a general picture for what's going on. Gate 53 and Gate 54, in terms of being um, rooted, so we're, we're in the root centre, so we're talking about being rooted, grounded, embodied. Uh, we're talking about being able to connect with the earth and see how we can serve all of life. So that's what the root centre is about. And these two gates in particular, which are their programming partners or, or complementary energies, and what they talk about is slow, very slow, deliberate um uh steps towards preparing for a sudden transition you have to create the conditions for change for transition to happen in your life and you do that through paying attention to all of your awareness all of your inner world and what it's telling you about what's happening in your outer world um, you have to learn to trust yourself to understand um, what you believe and what you value and to be able to weave those things into your day-to-day -day life. So this is a very slow, steady um, value, personal value-based system that we're working with here. Now, what, and I've mentioned this before, these two gates have been so powerfully active for um, probably about two, uh, two years now. And the reason is that every time these two get activated by the sun and the earth or Saturn or the nodes or, or whatever, um, what also gets activated is gate 42 um, Eris, dwarf planet Eris sitting there and gate 32 dwarf planet Haumea sitting there. So these are long-term transits, those outer planets that out past Pluto, they move very slowly, Eris and Haumea. Um, you can't see them on the standard chart, but on Taraka, if you click, um, you can see Haumea is in 32.5. There's an asteroid there as well. And Eris is in 42 and there's an asteroid there as well. So now the thing about this is um, what these dwarf planets, that this huge galactic energy that these dwarf planets bring, Haumea is bringing the birth of a new purer consciousness. The energy of that is about embodiment, it's about allowing flow, it's about um, allowing um, chi or, or universal energy to come through our body so we're not stuck we're not telling ourselves stories about who we are and what our world is about that gets us frozen or stuck that keeps us rigid and doesn't allow us to be um, flexible and pivoting in response to everything that happens so Haumea is, is working in conjunction actually with another dwarf planet here in gate 18 Mackie Mackie just here in gate 18 line one um, working to bring us into a state of fluid, flexible responsiveness to the external world, if you like, and to create a relationship between the inner and the external. Now, in conjunction with that, if we look at what Eris is, is showing us, Eris is very much about systems, but particularly about relationships and about how we create change. So, again, this idea of um, of uh, connections, inner and outer connections to create change. But Eris is more about how we connect with other people out there in the world, how we how we work in teams, how we each bring our gifts to, to the table and be able to work together. Interestingly, the 42 and the 32 are also programming partners or complementary gates. So this is a very powerful hookup. This is a time when you are, Jupiter is bringing us 
a vision. It's sitting, it's going to work between now and November between the, the great attractor in gate five and the galactic center in gate 11. It's going to move through that part of the chart and it's going to take Sarah's with it. There's a whole other story, but basically what those two were doing is very powerful and they're saying to us, there is some new purpose to your life. There is a new sense of opportunity, a new set of beliefs about um, what the world can be and um, a new reason for you, in a sense, to get out of bed in the morning. Like what makes, it's almost like the things that used to get you up and moving that just don't hold value for you anymore. So what we're doing at the moment is we're sorting out the things that now hold value for you and you are weaving those things into your day-to-day -day life. Much, much more, but let's start there. And um, thanks for listening and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.